Man, what's good, you two, man? It's your boy TTN Clipping. I'm, bro, I'm here to bring y'all the best point guard build in NBA 2K23. But first, I just want to give a big, big shout out to everybody that be supporting me, bro, on TikTok, Twitch, YouTube, Trollo, bro, Facebook, bro. Anything, anything that I be doing, bro, I appreciate y'all supporting me, bro, motivating me to be a better me every single day. Because God knows it's hard being consistent, it's hard really trying to lock in with your grind and really stay focused and not get distracted bro i ain't gonna lie it's that de it's definitely tough but it's september a lot of people they they're gonna they're gonna start giving up you feel me they're gonna start giving up if you see this you a content creator you a youtuber streamer any of that bro keep going just like rod wave say keep going bro keep going god only give his toughest battles to his toughest shoulders his toughest soldiers you feel me like bro if it wasn't meant for you if it was so easy, everybody would do it. Well, without further ado, let's get straight into this banger, man. <laughs> All right, so when you come, you make your build, you're going to make a rebirth. And make sure you hit yes on the rebirth. A lot of people, they hit no. They That means that you're not going to get the extra badges. Now, the hand, it really doesn't even matter. I'm going to go ahead and move my camera up here. See, so I can see when I'm in the building. So the hand, it doesn't matter. Jersey number, we're gonna go with 30 like Curry. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be 30 like Curry, bro. You are on the 6 1. You do not need a 92 3 ball. You do not need a 92 3 ball. The height, 6 1. The weight, you wanna go lowest weight. The arms, you wanna go max arms. This is gonna allow you to play lanes. This is gonna allow you to wall up in the paint. This allow you not, not to be the softest, but you might be the softest. You feel me? Okay, so finishing i'm gonna explain everything as we go so i put my driving dunk up to an 86 right i put my driving dunk up to an 86 just so i could get limitless takeoff on gold then i said i'm gonna put my driving layup all the way up to an 80 that way i could get a couple more finishing badges so i could run limitless takeoff on gold along with um let me make my camera a little bit smaller so y'all can see so I could run my limitless takeoff on goal along with posterizer, acrobat, fearless finisher. But then I said, you know what? I'm going to come down a little bit just enough so I could get my 18 finishing badges. Because I don't need my layup up that high. Then I came down and I said, I'm going to max out my three-pointer. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to max out my ball handle. I put my ball handle up to a 95. This is going to allow you to get Hall of Fame unpluckable. If you go one tick lower, you're only going to get gold. 94 is going to give you gold handles for days. Even if you just want to go like really simple, you don't want a Hall of Fame unpluckable, you don't care about the gold handles today, but just go with a 92 ball handle, bro. Just go with a 92 ball handle, you can put the attribute somewhere else. I'm showing you, this is how I made my build. I put my ball handle up to a 95. Gold handles for days, Hall of Fame unpluckable. Speed with ball, I believe I put that up to a 91. My pass accuracy, I put that all the way up to a 92. With 92 pass accuracy, this is going to unlock Hall of Fame Needle Threader, bro. Needle Threader is so crazy this year. When you're throwing passes, it's like really like a bullet. Like, bro, this I think this is really like the next Hall of Fame bullet passer. If y'all remember, you had bullet passer last year. So that's going to give you your 30 playmaking badges. So then you're going to come down here. You're going you're gonna to put your acceleration all the way up to a 90. You're going to put your vertical up to an 85. So... With an 85 vertical and an 86 driving dunk, you're allowed to get the small contacts and you're allowed to get the pro contacts. The only ones that you don't get is the elite contact. You have to have an 85 vertical. An 82 vertical is 40 elite contacts. And a lot of people don't know that. The small contacts is an 85 vertical. Your stamina, 99. You're gonna be able to, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna dribble, you feel me? Like, as long as you want to. So then after I done put up all these attributes, I say, you know what? I'm gonna come right here, put my speed up one tick. That gave me an extra defensive badge. You don't need defense, but that just gave me an extra defensive badge. Run off ball pets on bronze, run box out beats on bronze or something like that. Now, you had a 98 overall. You could choose what you wanna do with these badges. I said, I wanna put them on shooting. That way I can run. I think I came out, I had 24 shoot minutes, yep. So I put the red, I put everything else on shooting. Then I think I just came down here. And, but not even, I came right here. Put on my free throw. So that way you got 79 free throw, 80 free throw, whatever. 
I have 24 shooting badges. You do not need a lot of shooting badges in this game. I have 24 shooting badges. I'll be able to run Agent 3s, Blinders, Limitless, Range, and Dead Eye. All of them. Once I core up my badges, I'll be able to run all four of them. Along with Ant, Green Machine. Like, bro, the, the way I have my badges spread out and set up is crazy. Because I have 24, and I think I did the plus three or plus four to my shooting so it's 27 and 28 shooting then my playmaking i added like plus two to it so it was like 32 so the real badge count is 18 like 27 28 and then 32 and two and then the name that they come out with after you pick your takeovers the takeovers i went with obviously limitless range but you could go with anything else you go with play take you go with sharp take shot creating or whatever you feel like doing bro whatever you feel like doing the build name they got that well the shades that they're gonna compare you to is Damian Lillard, Muhammad, and Garius Garland. But you come out as a play shot, bro. As a playmaking shot creator. Yes, this is the best build in the game. As far as point guard wise, bro, it's easier to dribble on a 6'8. It's easier to dribble on a 6'9, 6'7. But a lot of people are not gonna be playing on these little short guards. And I really think that the little short guards are gonna go crazy later on in the year. They're just not gonna go crazy right now because a lot of people are just not hip to it yet, bro. A lot of people is just not hip to it yet, bro. That's 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 all there really is, bro. A lot of people is not hip to it yet. Once people is getting hip to it, bro, oh, they they gonna know. Trust me, bro, they gonna know. I'm just equipping some shooting badges that I think that I would be using if I was on this build. Um, like I said, I would be able to run, you feel me, all these badges. Now, I think I added plus three or plus four to my shoot, and that way I could run dead on bronze. Then everything else went to my playmaker. So I think it was like plus four to my shoot, and then I had like an extra like one or two badges. That went to playmaker. So it was like 31, 32 playmaking, 27, 28 shooting. It's really come down to your preference, bro. Whoever, like, for me, whoever's using the build, whoever's making the build, it really comes down to your preference. Playmaking badges, I'm running Hall of Fame Unpluckable, Hall of Fame Quick First Step, Hall of Fame Hyperdrive, End of Today's on Goal, Killer Combos on Goal, Bailout on Bronze. Then I'm gonna run my Needle Third. But once I have my extra badges, I'll be able to put my Needle Third on Hall of Fame. But after that, I don't need anything else. So, like I said, the plus two, it will allow you to put your Needle Third on Hall of Fame. And that's the badges that I will be running. Now, if you didn't even want to run Hyper Drive, you could go just like this and run your Clan Breaker on, on Silver. You could go just like that and run your Clan Breaker on Silver. Or you could run like that. You go like that. Your extra extra badge you could throw on a Hyper Drive. Bro, it's really total, totally up to you, bro. It's all personal preference. Literally all personal preference. But if y'all enjoyed this video... Y'all made it this far, bro. Make sure I hit that like button, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. Appreciate y'all rocking with your boy, man. I'll catch y'all in the next video.